So someone came to me recently saying, you know what, Kyle, the NBA is not hurting. Who are you fooling? Nothing you're doing, but this woke NBA, LeBron James stuff is helping. And then I pointed them to this. My name is Kyle, and this is the conservative take. Please consider liking and subscribing. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what's going on with the NBA ratings tanking again. I'm gonna to talk to you about LeBron James a little bit, about why he's helping it to tank again, and what the NBA is planning to do about what this is happening in, in to them and how they essentially are admitting that they have problems and they don't wanna come out directly and say that, but they come up with something really ridiculous like bringing in Spider-Man and Black Panther and Captain America to help save the day. But before we get into that, let's look at this particular article as a recap of what's going on. Gateway Pundit, we've covered a lot of stuff before, but the NBA ratings fall since going woke left, down 45% since 2012. Now we didn't cover this article specifically, but the key points in here are something you are not unfamiliar with if this is not your first time here on this channel. The biggest mistake the political professional sports have ever made was the decision to embrace left-wing politics. I agree. It, you go woke, you go broke. People don't want their politics in sports. That has been defined, it's been established, and it's showing in just about every single thing in pop culture. People don't want it. The whole point of going to TV and entertainment is to not think. I mentioned before about being amused. Amused is the opposite of being, of learning. You want to tune out. And so that's what this is about and people aren't liking it. And particularly when you add in what LeBron James recently did, if you don't know what that is, click some links below and above to find out what he did. If you have no idea what he did with the police officer and the shooting in Columbus, Ohio, and his doubling down and tripling down on his stupidity of just being an ignorant person who is causing more harm to this country than anything else, while at the same time enriching himself in his pocket by shilling for the media and everyone else like China. And so it's really disgusting, but here we go. Coming into the 2021 season, NBA games on ABC, the, the league's most important partner, were down 45% since 2012-2011. On cable, it's only slightly less damning. NBA broadcasts on TNT were down 40% and 20% on ESPN. Again, we talked about this before in the video last week. No big deal. I just want to just cover this again so I can go into the other part of it so it makes more sense. The past two NBA finals crashed to double-digit declines with the most recent falling down 51% to an all-time record low. Last season's NBA on ABC games fit that same category, recording the lowest average 2.95 million on record. This will break again, this record will break again this season. So it's going further and further down. This is unprecedented. NBA is going for all-time record lows for the regular season. And I can't be happier. <laughs> says here, this is Strauss, he writes, he says eventually, this is the athletic, uh, Ethan Ryder, Ethan Strauss, he's the writer there. He says, eventually, it will be official. The NBA, again, lost viewership on its ABC, again, its most important partner, games down from last season's all-time low. And remember, ABC, ESPN, Disney, you'll see the catch in a second here. Based on how this average drops as the season moves along, it starts off highest at the Christmas games bonanza, we can safely project that the ABC games will finish at a mark that's lower than last season. That is absolutely incredible. Let's keep going here. The NBA, more than any other league, relies on one or two guys to be the face of the league. Magic, Bird, their, their rises and falls depend on who that face is. Again, Magic and Bird, league was good. Jordan, league was supernova. And LeBron James, league nose diving. I don't know why anyone doesn't see this and LeBron James doubling down on the Cleveland restaurant was the Cleveland or Cincinnati a restaurant in Ohio basically said they're not going to show any NBA games and LeBron tweeted out oh well I wish I, I guess I can't go now because I, I can't go because I was going to go with a burger after the game but watch my team play yeah whatever so he's taking this totally like a joke but the fact is is that this restaurant is fed up and American people are fed up and LeBron James is getting totally lit up on Twitter social media he is being blasted by even the blue check markers, which we haven't covered yet, but I may do a video on that. Why not? Seems to be people want to hear about this. Uh, I don't like talking about LeBron, but I do want to call him out for his stupidity, especially dealing with that shooting in Columbus, Ohio. Again, links above, below. 
find out for yourself if you don't know what that is about. But he basically docks a police officer when a police officer saved the life of a woman. And it was, and LeBron James has yet to apologize for that. And NBA has yet to admonish him or say anything about it. The shills in the media outside of outkick.com have done nothing to say about it because they are afraid to make LeBron mad. They don't want to do that because he's LeBron James and we're, we won't get our VIP tickets when we want to go out to a junket or whatever. The show media across the board is just pathetic and they aren't doing their jobs. They're in it for themselves and their own careers, I imagine, and not looking at the truth and putting it out for people who want to know it. So anyway, that's the backdrop here. And let's check out what's going on here. So now we have ESPN Marvel team up for superhero filled NBA telecast. <laughs> you can't make this up. You're going to have two Disney divisions will represent an alternate version of a game featuring Iron Man, Captain America, and other members of the Avengers. Okay, let's just break this down for you because this is what this channel is all about, right? Captain Marvel, we have the MCU, we have Star Wars, and those two things basically messed up the MCU. Captain Marvel began to do that, but fortunately for them, the MCU was already wrapping up their, their fourth uh, phase of, of, of uh, movies, but Star Wars had just getting started off and Kathleen Kennedy and those guys wrecked the system with uh, Solo and The Last Jedi and just horrible stuff. All this wokeness embedded into the culture ruined those two franchises. So the only one they have left really is the MCU. And so now they're bringing them in with Iron Man and Captain America of all people. I thought they hated America and the Avengers to have some sort of alternate reality type telecast involving the, I guess here it says ESPN and Marvel will present an alternate tele telecast of the May 3rd NBA contest between Golden State Warriors, Mr. Woke, uh, Seth Curry, and New Orleans Pelicans game that will feature an all in-game storytelling feature members of the Avengers and other superhero theme elements. So they're going to try to bring fans back by bringing in Black Panther and Captain Marvel and Captain America and Black Widow and Doctor Strange. But you know what? Outside of the people who are the faithful for the NBA fans, fans, this will not play well. I'm telling you right now, this will not play well. It may play well for the little kitties, the little Space Jam kitties who want to watch, you know, some of this, some of the heroes on, on TV, and it may help with indoctrinating them for the future use. But for now, the fans right now are just turned off with the NBA. They're going to see this as total desperation. They're going to wish that Thanos would come down and just wipe out everything to do the snap and get rid of the entire league. I wish they would do that. I wish they would just like boycott and never come back. Because right now, when you dishonor the flag, dishonor this country, when you dishonor our law enforcement officers, when you say blankly speaking that cops are targeting systemically blacks in America, which is totally preposterous. We got a 60 second short. I'll put a link here as well, where I basically debunk all of that back up all the numbers, you can go to our site and get the information, the references there, all the stats are there as well. I'm not making this up, but without a doubt, there's no such thing as systemic racism here in the country. And if there is, you can point directly to the Democrat party because they would be the ones instituting all the things that they're mad about. So off subject here, that's where we are. Black Panther, Iron Man gonna be in the MCU to help bring back the NBA from all time lows from the season. I think personally they're trying to stop it so they won't have the lowest all time record season. So hopefully they'll have this one game, all this hype, get the ratings up so they can just not be the worst ever. That's my take. What's your take on this? I'm curious to know what you think. And if you like what we do in this channel, where we take culture TV, movie news and politics and filter it to you in a conservative manner, in other words, filter it to you right, then please click the like and subscribe button and you know, that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. And as always, please check out some content that we have right here.